Hey SB fam, hey carnivores, ketivores, carny curious people. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Bella the Steak and Butter Gal. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. I'm having the best day ever just because today is Friday, September 3rd, which marks the first day of my September 30 day all in carnivore challenge. So today I had about four hours of uh, Zoom meetings with hundreds hundreds of challenge members who signed up. I got to meet newcomers for the first time. I got to meet new carnivores, ketovores, just so many people all across the world. And I'm just over the moon because when I get to talk to like-minded people like the members in the challenge, it makes me so happy. I get fired up. It gives me all this joy and extra energy. So right now I'm kind of riding a high because just 15 minutes ago, I finished the last meeting. If you're in my September challenge, I love you guys so much. You guys rock. I hope you guys are sticking to your goals and staying on track. Back to today's video. What am I going to be eating to break this five month beef only streak? challenge to myself, whatever you want to call it. Really quick recap, if you're new to my channel, the past five months, 154 days to be exact, I ate nothing but beef, also excluding beef organs. So I literally had water, black coffee and beef but all cuts of beef. Today will be the first day where I break that beef only streak and I eat something else. So here's the plan. I'm gonna still eat beef just to make sure that I transition into this reintroduction phase safely, carefully, and gradually. So this will be my first documented video of me breaking my beef only and let me show you guys what I'm gonna eat. So first, before I actually bring the food into the frame, I wanna show you my Billy Dough box of meats. It arrived yesterday at around 8.30 p.m., an hour after I decided to eat. So I ate at 7.30 p.m. not because I planned on it, it was because I was so hungry. So I planned on breaking my beef only yesterday evening for dinner, but because the Billy Joe meat arrived an hour too late, I decided to just go with an all beef meal yesterday. So yesterday was just another day of beef only. I'll show you guys really quick what I ate yesterday first. Here is day one of what I eat. It's gonna be my usual obsession, which is oh, butcher box, grass fed, grass finished by the way, ribeye steaks. And the fourth one I am uh, thawing. So when I forget to thaw my steak, right? And it's completely frozen. What I do is I get this pot, any pot will do. And I put lukewarm water and I just bathe the steak in it for like 20 minutes. And it usually comes to room temperature by then. So honestly, it's, as you can see, it's already at room temperature, maybe a little cold inside, which honestly is fine. And all you're gonna need is a pan. I do not cook my steaks in anything but its own fat. As you can see, these butcher box ribeyes are not nearly as fatty as my Costco ribeye steaks that I cut from the uh, ribeye roast, but it works because I don't really need as much fat these days, especially since I finished my period. And in my last video, a lot of you guys mentioned in the comments that poor Simba is wearing the cone of shame. Yes, he is still wearing it for maybe another week. And the reason is because one of his uh, toenails, uh, it completely got twisted backwards while we were playing fetch. It must have gotten snagged on something, we don't know, but the vet cut it off completely. So he just has to wear the cone so he doesn't lick it. And since he's such a good boy today, I'm gonna give him his favorite treat of all time. Carnivore dog beef burgers. He loves these things so much. He just loves them so much. <gasps> Simba, come. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Sit. Can you sit? Good boy. Oh, look at those little baby eyes. <gasps> Simba, I just love you so much. Can you do a little trick? Spin. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. One, two, Oh, he did not get it. So I have tried these myself. They're delicious. It's literally just sirloin beef, water, salt. And I often get asked what exactly I drink. So if it's not iced water, it is iced black coffee. And this is the exact coffee pod that I drink. It's the only pod that I get from Nespresso. You will need the Nespresso machine to drink this pod. And the pod is called Diavolito. I will link it down below as well as the Nespresso machine. Ice cubes, 
black coffee and that thick layer of foam by the way is just from the black coffee i did not add any cream i think in italian it's called crema Welcome back. Now I want to show you guys exactly what I got in my Billy Dough box of lamb. I got my box of Billy Dough meats and you can see all of the meats that they offer. They have goat, beef, chicken, turkey. I see quite a lot of meat. I wonder if it's labeled. Oh good, it's labeled. Yay, thank you so much for sending me goat too. Whoa, I'm guessing this one's the lamb bacon. It's so fatty. There's lamb picanha. Got lamb shank, lamb leg steak, lamb chops, lamb ribs. Oh, I have never cooked ribs in my life, beef ribs included, and lamb loins. Hey, that was quick. I already know what I will be doing for tomorrow's meal. My first lamb meal ever and my first reintroduction meal will be this one. So I just shared my haul, the Billy Doe Meats haul on Instagram. One minute later, I got my answer. You guys rock. So I'm gonna do lamb bacon and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pan sear it. So with that being said, I'm gonna prepare it tonight by storing it in my fridge. So it will thaw overnight and by the time I eat tomorrow, it will be perfectly ready to sear. If you wanna just stay in touch with me, keep up with me, follow me on Instagram at Steak and Butter Gal. Okay, the rest of the lamb cuts I have put in my freezer drawer. In it goes. Yay. Billy Doe Meats, thank you so much. Shout out to you guys for reaching out to me and sending me a box of your gorgeous American raised lamb. I really cannot wait to eat it tonight. So let me show you guys what I'm eating. First things first, I'm going to be, like I said, sticking with my beef and it's just gonna be the usual obsession, butcher box ribeyes. I thawed these last night and I'm going to have two for now. I have a third one ready and thawed in the fridge, but I won't touch it until I'm finished with the meal that I cook. So two butcher box, grass fed, grass finished ribeyes. And again, if you wanna try butcher box, I have a link for you guys. You can claim the promo going on right now and get some free meat in your box. So the next thing, I decided to go with Billy Doe's lamb bacon for day one. Can you guys see that it is chopped up? It's nice and thawed into tiny little bacon bites. Obviously something like this is gonna be quick and easy. I'm gonna saute it and I'm gonna do an air fry version. So what I do is I just cut open a slit right here and when I thaw it, there's always a bunch of liquid slash blood. So I just try to not drip it out. Put my steak there, throw this away immediately. Have you guys noticed like the packaging of raw meat? If you leave it out, it stinks the next day. It just collects this disgusting smell. But uh, this is the second one. I'm just gonna throw it on the plate. Mmm, oh my gosh, guys. There is absolutely no gamey smell. Look at that. It's like 90% fat. This is probably gonna end up way better in the air fryer, but I'm still gonna do both. All right, Let's just put this in a bowl. Whoa, it looks so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So before I cook the butcher box steaks, I'm going to preheat my air fryer so that it gets nice and hot so I can throw in the lamb bacon. I preheat at 450 degrees. Uh, it is the hottest setting for this Cuisinart air fryer. I will usually preheat for five minutes. So as you can see, I have preheated my pan to the point where it's so smoking hot that when I put the steaks on, it sizzles like crazy. And that will give it that beautiful crispy sear. And here's a close up of the lamb bacon as I wait a few seconds for that sear to happen. And I'm just going to immediately flip over the butcher box steaks. Now in the same pan, I'm going to be throwing in half of the bowl of the lamb bacon. The other half is already in the air fryer cooking up. So I throw it on the pan and I just basically saute it for, I think I did it for five minutes, maybe six minutes until it just became really crispy. You see, I don't know whether or not I'm going to like lamb 
rare, like I like my beef, or if I'm gonna like it well cooked or medium rare or medium. So I took one little itty bitty piece out just so I can try it as of now. I have it right here. And uh, you know, this part is all fat. Wow, it's starting to smell a little bit more gamey. So I guess when you cook lamb, the gamey smell comes out. The only times I've tried lamb is when I go to hot pot. That's the only time I'll try any other cut of meat besides beef because it's all you can eat. Might as well just give it a go. So the times that I've tried lamb at hot pot has been so bad, just so, so gross in aftertaste. I have to emphasize, it's always that aftertaste. Upon putting it in my mouth, that first flavor, it's like, wow, it's delicious, it's tender, it's juicy. And then that aftertaste just hits me and I'm like, I just spit it out. So I am kind of nervous. I don't know what to expect. I'm just stalling right now. I'm totally stalling. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> so far so good. <laughs> Guess what guys? I freaking love it. It is so good. Oh, I want to scream, but right now Gouda is asleep and I don't want to wake him. He's in the back room over there. It is so, 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 so good because guess what? There's zero gamey flavor. Here's a piece right here. That one legit tasted sweet. It tastes like a mix of beef, pork, and chicken. That's as specific as I can get. I haven't had chicken in a very long time. I haven't had pork in a very long time, months and months. Chicken, probably years, but beef I had yesterday. It has a blend of beef, but also pork as what I remember it, and chicken as what I remember, mixed together in one meat. Look at that beautiful sear it gets. This is what happens when you cook very fatty meats at a high temperature. You get that gorgeous crispy crust. By the way, Hoda, hi. I love this lamb bacon. We were on the phone and she told me that this lamb bacon is by far their most popular cut, their most best-selling product. Now I understand why, because I just tried it for myself, and I can tell you guys that it is a 20 out of 10. This is what the air fried version looks like. This is a nice big chunk. I have to say the air fried version looks a lot drier than the pan fried one. I feel like the moisture got sucked, the fat and the moisture got sucked out of it, which is why there is so much melted fat at the bottom of the pan. Okay. <laughs> this meat did not disappoint. Thank you, Billy Doe Meats. I like both the pan fried and the air fried, but I think the pan fried, if you want a juicier, crispy mouth taste, more juice, do pan fried. Because air fryer definitely sucks out that moisture, but I love it so much because it now tastes like chips. It's just crispy chip-like little itty bitties. Gouda is awake, so I'm gonna go tend to my baby boy. All right. <laughs>